Howdy. Thanks for joining. Um, I am going to walk through Project Browser version 0.1. If you go to the releases tab in GitHub, you'll see all the changes there, but I'm going to talk you through them today. The first thing is you can see this folder is like my root folder, but all it has is other folders in it. It doesn't have notes in it. So it's not actually where I want to be most of the time. Most of the time I'm writing um, things in articles conceptual. So I can right click on that and I can set it as the launch folder. It might be a bit small on your screen. I can't zoom. I don't think I can zoom any more than that. So if we do that and we close this, you see it opens up and it opens up inside articles conceptual. So a really easy way to just set your launch folder so that it always opens where you want, um, not necessarily your root. If you right click anywhere, you get lots of different options now. One of the, the places is on a folder, which we just saw set as launch folder. In this case, I'm going to click the second option, which is hide folder. Now that disappears entirely. So if I have a bunch of folders that I don't want to see, they just contain assets, things like that then I can hide them um, and get them out of my view, even though they're still in the, the browse tab over here. But if I close that panel, um, I don't have to look at them most of the time if that's what I want. Changing states. So previously we can go inside a file and we can click the state button up the top and we can change the state there. You can right click on that as well and you can see your states listed here and you can switch the states right there. So I can send that to focus now, or I can send it back to drafting again. You can also right click on folders and files and rename them or delete them. So if I go rename folder, it gives me this um, modal where I can rename that. Um, if I go delete folder, it'll give me this modal saying, am I sure I want to delete that? Um, and then I can delete that. I just click cancel because I don't, do not want to delete that. Sometimes I'm comparing multiple files. So a really handy thing that comes from other programs is you can hold command because I'm on a Mac or control if you're on a Windows and you can click on things and they open in a background tab. So I can do that multiple times. The last one and certainly not the least is uh, probably the, the nicest one. Down here you'll see um, there's this search button so I can click that and search. That's really handy if you're on a tablet or a phone. If you have a keyboard in front of you and you've been interacting with this window, then you can just start typing. So I'm going to, I'm going to say uh, keyboards again and automatically it goes into that search mode and starts typing. And if you want to get rid of that search, you can just hit escape. So it's really quick to type things and find things and uh, undo that and go back. That's it for Project Browser 0.1.5. So I've actually done a few iterations, so it's not 0.1, but it's 0.1.5. Right, no comments coming through, but um, thanks for joining and have a good few weeks and I'll keep posting to Twitter and things like that. So um, reach out on there if you have anything you want to talk about. See ya.